As a fighting art, Calis Illustrissimo is blade-oriented. What makes it so beautiful is that it's efficient and, and simple. I started training with Tatang Illustrissimo in 1990 of January. I met him through my uh, teacher, Grandmaster Ernesto Presa Sr. During our Luneta times, uh, when Tatang was still alive, we had all the pillars there. Master Tooper, we had Master Tony, and Master Yuli. 2011, I went and continued my training with Master Tony and Coach Arnold Narzo in Luneta. What I'm gonna introduce to you is part of the basics, maybe five minutes of the basics, and then a couple of, of, of uh, signature techniques that uh, you might see unique to Calis Illustrissimo. When I met him, he was 90. I was 19 years old, powerlifting, and I couldn't touch the old man. So that tells you how efficient Calis Illustrissimo is. That's what really enticed me to learn from, from the master, you know. I'm proud to hear that Lapu Lapu was one of our heroes. And then you got Andres Bonifacio, who fought against the Spaniards, and Diego Silang, and Gabriela Silang, and all these fascinating heroes in our folk folklore, right? And um, it's part of our history. And who adopted it? The Americans did. They integrated it in their uh, military. Now it's in our movies. Makes us Filipinos proud. Right. It's not just all about adobo, okay? It's, just <laughs> it's not just about our lumpia and our pancit. Come on. Alice Ilustrissimo, Repetition, Original, USA Headquarters, 2011-2016.